I don't even get where we start off to begin like with vows. Start crying. When I hear his vows on the day of the wedding, I want to feel, you know, my heart melt and happy tears. I love your face. <laughs> Dumbass. I tell you that night was never supposed to end like that night did. If I would have did a little bit more talking, it would have went a whole different way. I was there when they met. We're actually at a club and uh, we were gonna leave with some other girls. 3J convinced me to go ahead to leave with Marissa and her group of friends. So. You know, I kind of brought that up. I gonna put some like that out there. You asked, I asked it. Kristen brought up the fact that the night we met, they were supposed to go with other girls, and I don't know why that's necessary to bring up when we're writing our wedding vows. It just reminded me of all the other girls that he's been with and tried to be with while we're, we've been together. My past is supposed to be in the past. No. <laughs> Are you pissed off now? Yeah, I am. It's all stupid. You're over here trying to act like some pimp and you're not. You're really not. You have no game at all. I don't think how this conversation is irrelevant for this topic anyway. Try your house. I'm trying to. And you're mad at me for nothing. I ain't no pimp. I ain't got no game. What kind of bull does that to say to somebody? Especially your husband. Because you don't. You sit here and try and be a Big Mac and you're not. You're the one bringing it up as I'm trying to write your vows. And then you want me to be all happy and kind of make it sincere? She's over here telling me who I try to talk to. Every single bitch that you cheated on me with, like, 